All right, so in case you guys haven't heard, uh, earlier this morning, Dokkan had their eighth anniversary live stream. It's a event that happens every single year to uh, provide us with information about the upcoming anniversary and uh, just generally get people hyped about the celebration, right? So uh, yeah, this happened about like eight hours ago. And uh, honestly, I wasn't around to catch it live, but I did go through the entire thing this morning. So in this video, we are gonna be uh, talking about the main highlights, the most important things that were revealed in this stream, specifically to do with the uh, events and the summonable LRs for at least part one of the anniversary. Because obviously there's gonna be multiple parts. There's gonna be at least I would say three parts, possibly four. So uh, this was for part one, and uh, we got to see the Dual Dokkan Fest LRs. We got to see some uh, new free-to-play units, some events, and all that good stuff. So with that said, let's jump right into it. And uh, basically for the first like 40-ish minutes of the stream, they talk about uh, the history of Dokkan, and then there's like a little panel here with a couple of the producers, I believe, and uh, you know, there's some questions. Uh, it's basically like a Q and A period, and it's pretty cool. But I'm not gonna get into like all the questions that were asked and all the answers uh, because that doesn't have to do with the actual anniversary itself. So it's about like 40, yeah, 45, 47 minutes into the stream where they really get into the uh, exciting stuff. So this is the logo for the 8th anniversary. As you can see, it's a Goku doing the spirit bomb. And uh, that's kind of the theme of the anniversary, right? So we got the 8th eighth, eighth anniversary Dokkan battle, spirit bomb Goku. And then from there, we have uh, images of the LR spirit bomb Goku, as well as the free to play. Actually, they're both free to play technically, right? So we got the LR Spirit Bomb Goku and also the Int uh, Universal Spirit Bomb Goku. And after that, we have, uh, I believe this is the image for like the special missions or the login bonus, something like that. And uh, we have like the rainbow tickets, we have a bunch of dragon stones, we have the eighth anniversary coins. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so after that, they talk about uh, the 77 uh, unit guaranteed LR summon. Of course, there's a, a ticket version as well as a stone version, just like the past couple of years. And uh, if you do either the stone summon, which is probably gonna be like 300 stones, or the ticket summon with 50 tickets, you get three guaranteed LRs, right? So. Uh, some options would be like the LR uh, Merge Masu, the LR Golden Frieza, as well as the LR, uh, the Tech LR Goku and Gohan and a bunch of other LRs. Basically, most of the non Dokkan Fest summonable LRs will be available to be pulled on this banner. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Now, the only thing that I'm like a little bit upset about is that it's not 88 characters, right? It's only 77, just like last year, but I mean, it's the 8th anniversary, so it should be 88 characters, right? Unless they wanted to kind of put a cap on it. I guess 77 makes sense because seven is like super special, right? As a number, so uh, yeah, it makes a little bit of sense, but 88 would have been even better. So that is the guaranteed LR banner that we get with every anniversary. And what's next? Let's see. Okay, so these are uh, two new events, I believe two story events that are dropping with the anniversary. And uh, this one comes with a free to play Hercule. And uh, of course, just like every anniversary, this guy will be getting an Extremes Awakening probably in like part two of the anniversary. And then we also have uh, a new support memory for this story event, along with, uh, I believe this is another story event for Oob, and there is a free-to-play Bobbity, which is 
confirmed to become an LR. So, following the trend of past anniversaries, uh, there's always, you know, multiple free-to-play units that all Extreme Z awaken, and there's always a free-to-play LR that also Extreme Z awakens, right? So, this Bobbity is going to be the free-to-play unit that eventually awakens into an LR with an Extreme Z awakening. Okay, so, uh, after that we go back to the Oob story event, and I think we're getting close to... Though so actually we are at the reveal for the Dual Dokkan Fest, so this is one of the LRs for the Dual Dokkan Fest. A LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, so that is one half of the Dual Dokkan Fest. And I gotta say, man, yo, this guy looks pretty awesome. I, I really like the art. I mean, I've always been a sucker for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, I just like the hair, right? And... Uh, it's a good pose. It's a good pose with the Goku and Vegeta side by side. Now, okay, one funny thing, one funny thing we need to address, okay, is the fact that uh, a lot of people were under the impression that the LRs right this year would not include Goku or Vegeta because that is essentially what they told us, um, you know, in a previous like video a while ago, right? Like they said, uh, there's not gonna be characters that were previously featured in other anniversaries for this year, right? So, you know, people took that as like, we're not gonna get a Goku or Vegeta. You know, it's gonna be something completely different. It might be, uh, who knows, like there were a bunch of theories out there like uh, Broly and, and Gogeta or something like that, but it was not gonna be Goku and Vegeta. And lo and behold, we're getting another Goku and Vegeta. And uh, I believe the producer, uh, Omatsu, who is being covered by me right now on the left, bottom left corner, uh, he apologized, saying that it was a misunderstanding. And I don't really know if, like, that's actually what happened, but either way, we're getting Goku and Vegeta again. And uh, I'm not mad at it, right? I'm really not. I just think it's funny. I think it's funny that, like, they expressly said, we're not getting the same characters as previous years and then we end up getting the exact same characters but of course um we haven't had an anniversary super saiyan 3 goku right or a super saiyan 2 vegeta actually i don't think so um i guess that is different it's the same characters but different forms now moving on to the next lr let's see here boom other half of the dual dual Gon fest a gt goku and a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And yeah, this art is fire too, man. I love the, the blue and the red. Um, good pose, once again. Uh, just looking really, really clean. So the arts, I mean, we don't know what they do yet, right? We have no information about like anything outside of what the arts look like. We don't know what the animations look like, but I can say right now that the arts are, uh, our top tier right so great looking arts again another goku and vegeta and of course there was a super saiyan 4 vegeta uh both last year and uh three years ago with the or four years ago i guess at this point with the lr super saiyan 4 vegeta so um that's definitely not new you can't even argue it's a new form because we've had super saiyan 4 vegeta but gt goku is a new uh form of goku i guess for uh, you know, the anniversary. So, there's that. Um, and there you have it, guys. Duo Dokkan Fest for part one of the anniversary. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and GT Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. What you guys think? Um, are you okay with it? Or are you a bit disappointed? Mainly because we were told it was not going to be the same characters as before. Um, once again, man, I don't, I don't mind it too much. You know, you guys, you guys know I'm pretty chill with this stuff. Like, I'm not gonna get mad because we were misled or anything like that. It's not a huge deal to me. Um, I'm more concerned about like whether they're good and also whether their animations look good. I mean, based on the past couple of years, like the animations should be amazing. But you know, it's hard to top like what we have in the game already, right? Like, I think Beast Gohan. 
like the beast beast gohan active skill animation is kind of like as good as it gets so i don't expect it to be like better than that but somewhere on that level is what i'm expecting right as far as like the, the animation quality all that stuff anyways uh those are the two lrs once again goku and vegeta and goku and vegeta and uh, let's see if there's anything else we can quickly cover here okay, so they have it on the big projector oh by the way this is the fan meeting i believe this is um you know for the top 50 people in the jp world tournament um i think yeah i think i think there were 50 people that were or 50 dokkan players that were invited to this event uh who were you know at the top of the uh, leaderboards for the past world tournament okay so here are the banners here are the banners we have the Goku and Vegeta, or the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and then the uh, GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And on the left side for this banner, we have the uh, 7th Anniversary LR Gods. We have um, Gamma, Gamma 1, and also LR. Whoa, we have LR. Actually, no, that should be a surprise. LR Final Form Cooler. LR Final Form Cooler. And I think these guys are are new, right? They're the banner unit. Wait, is it is it a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Piccolo, or is it like a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unit standalone and then a Piccolo standalone unit? I think it might be two side units, unless unless they already exist in the game, and I'm just blanking at the moment. But I don't recognize these arts. I don't recognize these arts. So. I think these are the side banner units, so uh, yeah, this banner looking very, very good. First impressions, very positive. And then on the right side with the GT banner, we have the Super Saiyan 4s, right? The LR Super Saiyan 4s from the 7th anniversary, along with Gamma 2. And by the way, in case anybody cares, I don't have either of the Gammas, so that's huge for me. That is a big, big deal for me. And then uh, we have the uh, LR Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from the um, Metal Cooler movie, right? And then uh, lastly, we have two uh, Shadow Dragons, right? We have the Ice Shenron as well as the Nova Shenron, which are, which are going to be the uh, side banner unit, right? The new banner unit. So uh, yeah, those are the banners, man. They look incredible as you would expect for an anniversary. And uh, definitely, I'm expecting some more LRs. I'm expecting some more, uh, you know, good Dokkan Fest units. So, yeah, these banners are going to be awesome. I mean, they're already awesome. If, like, this is the best we see on the banner, that's already fine. But I do think there's going to be some other Dokkan Fest LRs too, right? Just, like, past years. So, um, yeah, save up for these banners, man. Especially for a global player. Like, right now, for JP players, you don't have that much time left because anniversary is like a week and a half away. But for a global players watching this right now, save up. Save up. Okay. So, after that, um, I believe this is. Uh, oh, I think this is for another live stream. Yeah, another live stream where they're probably going to be revealing the animations and details for the LRs. But of course, most likely. We're gonna be getting a data download before then, so we'll see the animations and stuff on Twitter uh, probably like an hour before the stream starts. That just happens every year, not a surprise there. And I believe that is it, guys. I believe that was everything that they revealed during the stream. I am correct, because the rest of the stream is just this one screen, right? So. Uh, there you have it. There you have it. Um, that was the 8th anniversary uh, live stream. Those were the highlights of what was discussed, of, of what was revealed during the stream. And uh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm not going to say like the LRs are the most hype characters for me because I was like a lot of people really hoping we would get something that wasn't Goku and Vegeta again. But I think... Uh, for you know being Goku and Vegeta again, they're they're pretty hype. They're they're they're, they're pretty pretty nice. They're pretty solid. So uh, I'ma stay positive. I'ma 
you know, expect some good things from these animation and detail reveals. And uh, once again, guys, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about everything. You guys know I love to uh, hear your opinions. And uh, once more info comes out, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. For now, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.